Today I'm going to show you how to take the footage from your digital camera and make it look like it was shot on film so you get something that looks like this. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gear reviews, tutorials, and much more. I'm also on Instagram, and over there you'll see announcements, behind the scenes, and bloopers as well. So head over to the account and I'll see you there. I've got a very special giveaway in today's episode, so stay tuned for the details on that one and make sure you don't miss it. All right, so music producers often favor the older analog gear because it gives a warmer sound to the overall production. But this route can be expensive and often results in a more complex workflow. So companies have started crafting software plugins to make digital recordings sound like they were captured on tape. And the same thing is happening in video now as well. Now the good people at Film Convert reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review their new Nitrate plugin, which is a film emulation plugin for log profile footage. They were also kind enough to include a free license to one of you guys. And I'm gonna give details of how to enter later on in the video, so make sure you stay tuned. Now as you may already know, I'm a huge fan of the retro film look, so I jumped at the chance to review this software. And I've used it on everything since, it's so good. Now I just want to make it clear that Film Convert haven't paid me to say anything, so all of the views and opinions in this video are completely my own, so you know that anything that I say is my honest feedback. Now I've put a link to Film Convert in the description below, and I've also included timestamps if you want to skip to a particular section in the video. But let's jump into the computer and have a look at what Nitrate has to offer. Right, I've tried to do a seamless transition there, but I had a bit of trouble with the screen recording software that I've been using. And I actually, this is my fourth time now trying to record this. So hopefully this works. I had to download a new screen recording software to try and get this to work. So fingers crossed it works this time. Anyway. Right, so once you've installed Film Convert Nitrate, it's really easy to bring it into your project. All you do is go over to the Effects tab and type in Nitrate, then click and drag that over onto your footage. So as you can see, that's already added a nice little film type effect to our footage. But another thing I like to do is make a new window layout for this. So I've got my Lemetri scopes over here on one side and also my effect controls over here so that any adjustments I make, I can see what's happening over in the scopes. You obviously, you don't have to do that, whatever works best for you, but this is what I like to do when I'm using this plugin. So what you do first is choose your camera. So click on that, and then obviously I filmed this using the Canon EOS R, and I use the Rec. 709 Canon Log Neutral Profile, so click Apply. Now, I haven't actually got this downloaded at the moment because I've just been cleaning up my computer and stuff, so I've not got that installed, so I'm just gonna choose the default at the moment. But this is an interesting feature because Film Convert is programmed to work with log footage. Now, what you can do is use it as a camera matching tool. So if you filmed something on a bunch of different types of cameras, like a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, a Sony camera, and a Canon camera. You can match those cameras so they all look the same. So it's really handy. So whatever footage you bring in, make sure you select the camera you were using, and then what any adjustments that you make will look the same across all the different types of cameras. So really good feature, that. Then we've got the temperature, exposure, and tint. I'm going to come back to those in a little while. So this is the most exciting bit, choosing the film stock. So we've got all of these presets here. Now, if you're like me and you have no idea what all of these cameras and film types are, I mean, all I know is that film looks cool. So if you're like me, then a good thing to do is just go through all these different presets choose which one you like and then you can make the adjustments and use that as a starting point. So they've got loads to choose from here and they, to be fair, I have a new favorite every time I use it because they all look so good. And I've got some black and white ones here as well. They look 
absolutely incredible, so authentic. And you can dial back the amount of grain that's in here. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. But, I mean, just look at the contrast. The contrast of these is absolutely perfect. They've got it spot on. Obviously, you've got to make sure that your exposure is correct while you're filming, but it just works so well. Another thing I've noticed as well with this is because log footage, it can be quite hard to grade, especially with the skin tones. This is incredible. Look at how natural the skin tones look. It just looks so nice. No matter which one you choose, they're all really natural and I don't have to do anything to it. I don't have to go in and fine tune them in the curves or anything like that. Have a play about with all of these different film stocks, choose your favorite one, and then you can dial in here with the film chroma and the luma how much of the effect you want. So I can so I can bring back some of the normal log colors back in there if I don't want that full film look. And also the luma, it's like the is acting as the contrast here. We've got the film size, so we've got all the way from eight mil to thirty five mil, and these look incredible. Now it applies the grain for you to emulate the look of that sort of film and what it would be like but you can go in and have full control over how the grain works. Super 16 and then Super 35. Now obviously the higher you go up, the less grain there is. But again, you can adjust that as you see fit. I really like this Super 8 look. So let me just play that for you. Look how cool that is. Now, for me, that's a little bit too much grain and noise. So what I like to do is bring down that saturation all the way and then maybe the strength down a little bit just so I got it to a point. But I love that softness of this. So let's have a look at that now. So that's much better. A little bit cleaner, but it's still got that film look about it. Absolutely love that. So you can go in and fine tune that, but my favorite thing with this, and this is what gives it so much more control, is that this little graph here, we've got from left to right, we've got the darks to the lights, and we can add more grain to the shadows, for example, just by raising this, and that's not gonna affect the amount of grain in the highlights. So see that? See, look at all this, it's adding grain there. I could also dial it back a little bit to nothing and it's nice and smooth and then we've got a bit more grain in the highlights. So that is a really good feature. If, let's look at these darker bits. In fact, let's have a look at here. If I want to add a bit of grain to this shadowy area here, I can add, there we go. We can add grain to the highlights. Look at the sky look. I've added a lot of grain there. It's out of interest. Look at that. Look at that. Obviously, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to go overboard like that. But it just, it just gives you so much more control. If I want to make her skin a little bit smoother, I just bring the grain down of the highlights and the midtones, and then she's nice and smooth. But we've got grain in the shadowy areas and like the tree there. So look at that. It just makes her stand out a little bit more. I mean, that's a little bit unnatural, but the control that you do have is really good, and I like that feature. And then we don't have to use this as a film emulation plugin. We can use it in other ways as well. So we could get rid of all of these effects here, turn down that, turn down that. So essentially, it's like the, f the normal footage without any effects. And then we've got all of these color correction options as well. So if we click on this, it brings us to our color wheels and curves. Now this is really good because it just means that we don't have to go over into Lumetri and do our little adjustments over there. We can do all of it, or at least most of it, within Film Convert. So I love how they've added that feature. Right, something that I noticed when using the temperature, tint and exposure is these are so much more natural and a smoother response than the controls within Lumetri. Let me show you. So I'm just gonna hide the nitrate layer now and then add a Lumetri color layer to this. And I'm gonna show you the Lumetri color version. So if I, this one for example, if I want to add a bit of warmth to this, look what happens. It essentially adds, it's like adding a filter over the top of the whole image. You can see it more so when you make it cooler. It's literally just a wash of color over the top and the same thing with the tint. You can see that there. 
Whereas when we do it with film convert, for some reason, I, I, I don't know why, it must be how it integrates with the log footage. It adds it to all the right areas. It's not just adding an orange glow to the whole thing. It's doing it nice and smoothly. So that is so much more natural. And it just means that you can get closer to that sort of golden hour look. If I add a bit of warmth and then a little bit of pink to it, Look at that, it looks really natural then. Whereas Lemaitre, it adds it to the highlights and the shadows and everything, it just doesn't look quite right. Whereas this still looks really natural. And then the same thing with the exposure. Look at the exposure on Lemaitre. So see what happens, it just, I mean, you can see it in the scopes, it just raises everything at the same time. Um, and if you lower it, the same thing happens, it just, just not very authentic. And then if you go over into film convert, look at that. It seems to, it just, I don't, I, mean, I don't know, I can't explain what's going on, but it's just a lot smoother. It's preserving the detail in the shadows for longer. And it's just gradually bringing things up without it just completely blowing everything out instantly. Really, whatever they've done, it's really clever. I don't know about it, but it's more pleasing to use than the Lumetri version. So. Love that. Another thing you can do is generate a LUT. So you can download this onto your camera or an external monitor. So you can monitor what you're recording with this film look on your monitor and or camera. You, so you can see what you're filming at the time with this nice film grade to it. And that's incredible. And you're not baking it in. It's just a LUT on the monitor. So really, really good feature that. I really like that. But yeah, these are just incredible. I love going through these and choosing these different film stocks to whatever suits the style of video that you're working on at the time. But you can't go wrong. It's, they're just so good. Honestly, it requires hardly any adjustments whatsoever. And it's just fun to have a play around with. So definitely worth a look. So as you can see, Nitrate is much more than just a film emulation plugin. I've been using it alongside Lemaitre as my main colouring tool and it works so well. Right, so giveaway time. The winner will receive a free license for the Nitrate plugin and all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, follow Film Convert on Instagram and leave a comment below of your favourite feature in the Nitrate plugin. I'll then select the winner at random and announce it on the channel next week so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that one. And don't forget to follow all of the rules to be in with the best chance of winning. Good luck to everybody, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good week and I'll see you soon.